everybody it's Tommy and welcome back to my channel today we are doing a Disney character as a Pokemon trainer and this is kind of a little mini series that I've been doing recently so if you'd like to check out some others I will link them in a playlist at the end of this video but today we are working on Alice so I am going strictly off of Alice from the cartoon version of Alice in Wonderland not the live action version because I think they are very different from one another and I have chosen six Pokemon today for Alice and this was definitely a very difficult choice as well. A lot of these are, um, you have to think about them a little bit, I would say. So for Alice, this is definitely a much older version of Alice than is shown in the cartoon version. I've picked primarily dark and psychic type Pokemon for her party and I really feel like she would make an excellent psychic type trainer and we're going for kind of like an alternative Alice with um, some heavier jewelry, a little bit of a punky style as Alice is typically depicted in like other variations of the story. And so for her Pokemon, the first one I have chosen is Score Bunny. So Score Bunny, we don't really know a ton about, but I really did want a white bunny Pokemon and Score Bunny, I feel like even though Though it's a fire type really fits in super well with Alice. Scorbunny has kind of been shown as a Pokemon that is going to be or have something to do with uh, speed and in the cartoon she obviously runs into the white rabbit that has uh, somewhere to be and is trying to hurry up and get there as quickly as possible and I really really do like pairing her with one fire starter type Pokemon. If I was going to pick a starter for Alice, I feel like fire is the natural choice to go with. And then moving on to Purloin. So I wanted a Cheshire cat counterpart, and this is a purpley dark type cat with green eyes. Literally reminds me so much of the Cheshire cat. It is described as a mischievous Pokemon, which again, really, really works for uh, a Cheshire cat Pokemon. And it often likes to act cute and then it will steal from you anyway. So I really like the mischievous part. I really do feel like she needs some kind of a cat counterpart. And I feel like overall that is the perfect pick. Moving on to Floette. So Floette is a flower Pokemon and its job is specifically to care for other flowers and there are so many different depictions of Alice in flowers, with flowers, around flowers. I believe there's even a song based around flowers in the beginning of the movie so that really makes a lot of sense to me. I feel like Alice can be a little bit of a caretaker and really loves nature and loves the organicness and would love a Pokemon that takes care of nature in and of itself. Moving on to a psychic type and the next three are actually all going to be psychic type Pokemon. We have Muna. So the reason I loved Muna so much is because I was specifically looking for a Pokemon that had to do with dreams and Muna is a Pokemon that eats dreams and then will take those dreams and project them and has a lot to do with like controlling nightmares and controlling or curing other people's dreams and I loved the idea that Alice would have Muna in Wonderland and if she had a nightmare she would be able to use Muna to kind of take care of it or Muna would look after her in that regard and I also really love how cutesy Muna is and again I really like the idea of Alice having a lot of cutesy type of Pokemon because she comes across as like a cutesy character even though uh, a psychic type trainer kind of counteracts that a little bit but I love the combination between the two. Moving on to a legendary Pokemon, we have Uxie. So Uxie actually has a lot more to do with memories, and one of the characteristics of this legendary Pokemon is that they wipe out other people's memories. And I love that again because a lot of the actual storyline of Alice has to do with memories, remembering things, and that whole like dream aspect or illusion aspect. Uxie also is capable of creating illusions and a lot of people kind of theorize that Wonderland itself might even be Alice's illusion. So I loved that idea that uh, she had a Pokemon that creates illusions. Again, very psychic type, very much feeds into her personality and kind of like that daydreamy, um, a little bit airheaded aspect and just like very whimsical, very psychedelic. Last but not least, I really wanted Alice to have a specific baby Pokemon to take care of. Again, I really feel like Alice is kind of like a caretaker. She finds things or creatures, instantly falls in love with them, and wants to take care of them. So her having a baby Pokemon 
really makes a lot of sense to me. So I've chosen Mime Jr. because Mime Jr. is both fairy type and psychic type, which both I feel like fit perfectly with Alice. It was shown when I was looking at images of it at literally being seated at a table that looked like a tea party. Fit so perfectly into the theme. Mime Jr. picks up on other people's emotions and likes to mimic them, and I really feel like that would be a really cool uh, Pokemon for Alice to take care of, and again, plays into the whole theme of memories, emotions, all of those, like, more abstract emotional ideas that I feel like fit so perfectly with Alice. So let me know how I did. Do you agree with my choices? These Pokemon are all completely out of my realm, so I had to do a lot of research trying to pick them. But if you're more familiar than me, let me know how I did. Alice is available for download on the gallery under my origin ID, The Alleged Simmer, all one word. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon below to turn on post notifications so you can get updated every single time I post. And I will talk to you all in the next one.